Hi, this is a demo of some improvements I've been working on for the warp tool. So I'll just quickly start by showing how the current warp tool works or doesn't work. I'm not sure how critical I should be. Um, probably does work for some people, but I never managed to find it useful. So the first thing that um, you'll notice is it does an immediate sort of transformation. When you just press Shift W, all of a sudden you've got this very distorted object which is not really consistent with other tools. If you press S for scale, nothing happens until you move your mouse. Same with G, obviously. So having the warp tool do this, I think, is a little bit strange. Um, and the other thing is, I mean, it uses this uh, cursor for a pivot, but often you'll just end up with very strange um, distortion, like I wanted to distort about this ear, but suddenly the model jumps over. Um, since messing around with this, I've found that the horizontal position doesn't make any difference it always jumps over so it's kind of I don't know, I don't think that's this is very good uh, yeah but the vertical position does so you can do this kind of thing so I guess that's kind of useful but yeah anyway so now I'll demo the new behavior which is add some functionality but keeps the uh, keeps the ability to, to do those kind of strange warpings still so I'll just uh, activate the warp tool. Now you'll see that nothing happens, even though I've activated it. And it draws a line from the cursor to the mouse. But I can um, bend warp or bend uh, the monkey's head. Um, if I want the old behavior, not the old behavior, but if I want how it works before, I can still do that by doing uh, doing this. Now you'll notice it's only bending one half, and that's because um, I think I've enabled that by default, clamping, but if you want you can hold ALT and you can do both. So being able to do, or defaulting to only doing one half is much nicer for quickly bending things. So you can kind of do uh, boom, like this. And this is something which I think shouldn't be difficult in Blender, which it kind of was before. Um, and you can bend on different axes, so you can sort of decide to bend this way also alt so you've got this so you can still do this kind of thing if you want but uh, usually you wouldn't want to I guess um, the other thing you'll notice is that you can use the uh, distance distance from the cursor as a, a radius so you can do a really tight bend or um, or not I guess you can do something like this which I think gives you a lot of control it's almost like a bone between the cursor and the uh, and the mouse or the three D cursor and the mouse cursor. And I think that gives you gives you a lot more control and um, yeah. I mean, you could do you could uh, do this before using proportional edit mode, but it wasn't that great. And with proportional edit mode, it will also influence things um, away from you know if you had sort of parts of the model pointing at you didn't want to influence, you wouldn't really have much control of that. So you can do it, I guess, with proportional edit mode, but uh, yeah, I think this is uh, a bit more a bit more handy to be able to do this. Oh, and I should just say, you can use proportional edit mode for warping too, so uh, yeah, you can do it like that if you want. Alright, I think that's all.